to Ala Sheik's instructional video on wet dressings for eczema using tubey fast garments. Why do we use wet dressings for eczema relief? When the eczema is flaring, it can greatly reduce the quality of life, not only for the eczema sufferer, but for the whole family, especially when nighttime itching and scratching is affecting the quality of sleep. If regular use of your steroid and emollient creams are not providing relief, your healthcare professional may suggest you try wet dressings. Through wet dressings, we can relieve some of the heat from the rash, hold the emollient and medicated creams against the skin, allowing the skin to rehydrate, and provide a protective layer to stop fingers scratching at the rash. All of these factors help break the each scratch cycle, which allows the skin to heal and the patient to have a more comfortable night's sleep. If this is the first time you're using wet dressings for eczema, we suggest you watch the video a few times until you feel comfortable with the process. You may also find it helpful to print off the fact sheet from the website and follow the simple steps. Wet dressings are most effective in the first eight hours of application and therefore are best used an hour before bedtime. As with any procedure for eczema, it is best to have everything ready before you start. For wet dressings, you will need either a soluble bath oil such as these or epiderm emollient. A small amount of this can be melted into warm water and then added to the bath. With all of these products, be careful getting in and out of the bath as they will make the bath slippery. Alternatively, your healthcare professional may have suggested that you have a bleach bath before proceeding into a wet dressing. We also recommend you use either soft 100% cotton or bamboo towels. Next, you will need a bowl with warm water or tempered water if it's a very hot summer's day. You will need two sets of tubifast garments or tubular bandage appropriate for the age of the patient. Tubular bandages are best used for adults as these can be cut to size to suit the limb. Also patch wraps are available for adults. The tubifast garments are great for children and come in these easy to use packs. To prepare the garment we recommend washing before use and simply turn the garment Turn the garment seam side out for a comfortable fit for the child. Next you will need steroid creams if they have been prescribed by your healthcare professional and then your emollient. We also suggest you think about the location you will perform your wet dressings. If applying on a child or baby, please do not place them on the carpet as dust mites can further inflame the eczema. To start the wet dressing, have the patient soak in a warm bath with either the soluble oil or emollient or bleach for 10 to 15 minutes. If you are not performing the wet dressings on yourself, wash and dry your hands thoroughly. Place one set of tubey fast garments into the warm water to soak. Next, get your patient out of the bath. Okay, our patient's been soaking in the bath for 10 to 15 minutes in the emollient and bath oil. So now we want to not rub the skin, but gently pat the skin dry with our 100% cotton or bamboo towels. And now to these affected areas here, we want to apply our steroid cream. So we just apply the steroid cream to the affected areas. The steroid cream shouldn't go on where the skin is intact. The steroid cream is only for areas of inflammation. Okay, so then over the top of the steroid cream, we now want to liberally apply the emollient. You want to apply this in a gentle downward motion so as not to block hair follicles. You want to follow the direction of the hair growth. Now when it comes to emollient, you need to really apply this quite thickly for the wet dressing to be effective. And honestly, you cannot apply too much emollient. You want this to really soak into the skin and the emollient goes all over the skin, over the top of the steroid and then right over the skin. We want to really rehydrate this affected eczema skin and allow our patient to have a really good night's sleep. So really thickly apply that emollient. At 
first this wheel procedure does take a little getting used to. It does feel a bit funny to be covered in creams, but it really is the best way to receive relief. If doing this procedure on a child, it's a good idea to have them in front of the television and put one of their favourite TV shows or movies, something to keep them a little bit distracted, just until you get the process down pat and then you'll be able to do this procedure in about five to ten minutes. The next step is to wring out the excess water from our tube cast garment. We want this to be wet but not dripping wet. So just wring that excess water out. And as you can see, it's not dripping, but there's still a fair bit of moisture in there. Okay, now to pull up, apply the tube fast garment, the easiest way is to just roll the garment back on itself like this so that we can stretch it and apply it to the skin. We don't want to drag this garment over the skin as this will wipe away all the cream and emollient we've just applied. Okay, so to apply the garment, remember we've got the seam side out, the arm through, and we've just rolled all that cream on there. So now we can just simply roll the garment down on the skin over all the emollient, and we're not wiping all that cream off. And same with the other side. Okay, so again, we're just rolling it down. If you can't roll it down, if it's become tangled or whatever, just stretch the garment out. It's very stretchy. Don't drag it over the skin or as I said, we'll wipe off all those emollients and creams that we've spent all that time applying. Okay, so now we've got our wet layer on, we want to apply a dry layer. So again, stretch it out over the wet layer. And we're just going to roll that down the same, same way as we did before. Roll it down over the wet layer. You don't want any creases in the garment. You want to try and keep it nice and smooth on the skin. And bring it right the way down where possible. And then if the children have got any eczema on their hands, another great idea is to put some two pairs of tubi fast gloves. These come in size extra small child all the way up to extra large adult. So then just a, a same as this, a wet layer of gloves, a dry layer of gloves. dry layer, it's all smooth, it's beautiful against the skin. We can just apply pyjamas as normal. I'm in this lady. And the other one. Just over the top of the tubi fast suit that we've created here. Same procedure for the legs as we did for the top. Sterile cream, heavy emollient. Don't be afraid of using the emollient, you really can't use too much. In the hot Australian summer, I do recommend a spray bottle with just some tempered water and you can wet the undersuit if, it's, if you notice that it's starting to dry. Wet dressings can be applied daily until the itch scratch cycle has been broken. This has been Alice Sheets' educational video on wet dressings using tubi fast garments. To print out the fact sheet or to purchase any of the products we've used here today, go to www.alasheek.com.au.